Hello guys, hope I'm doing well and welcome to a new episode in the SAT and the ACT writing course. Go grab your pen and paper and get ready for today's session. Today's session is about prepositional phrases. Same as the last session. Our objective today is to teach you how to figure out any prepositional phrase. So what's meant by a prepositional phrase? A prepositional phrase starts with a preposition and ends with a noun. Again, starts with a preposition ends with an L. What is a preposition? For those who don't know what a preposition is, stand up and keep standing till the end of the lesson. All right, a preposition is something that shows you the direction or the position of something, like of, like in, onto. Here is a list of common prepositions that you might see. So these are the prepositions. What is a noun? A noun is a name. A name of a person, a name of a thing, a name of an idea. Here are a list of nouns. Take a look at them if you don't know what's meant by a noun. Alright, so again, a prepositional phrase, it starts with a preposition, ends with a noun. Let's take a look at the following example. The cat was hiding under the table. Where's the preposition? It's under. All right, so this is the preposition. Okay, does it end with a noun? Table, so table is a noun, it's a name of an object. So this is a prepositional phrase. Let's take another example. The dog ran to his master. All right, the dog ran to his master. Is there any prepositions here? Yes, to is the preposition master is master a noun yes it is a noun so this is a prepositional phrase so again starts with a preposition ends with a noun one might ask me is there is any question in the act or the sat asking me to figure out a prepositional phrase no it never happened and it will never happen so why the hell are we learning the prepositional phrases it is important to figure out the non-essential parts of the sentence because sometimes the examiner uses the prepositional phrases to mislead you, especially in the subject-verb agreement question. I'm going to give you an example and later on we're going to dig deeper in this topic. Take a look at the following example. The girls are dancing, right? The girls, so the girls are dancing, right? Of course, right. The girls, so it's going to take are because they are plural. Take a look at the other example. So one of the girls are. Do you think this one is right? Of course not, because I'm not talking about the girls. Now I'm talking about one of the girl. So one way to get to the essence of the sentence is to cross out the prepositional phrase. So is there any prepositional phrase here? Yes, it is one of the girls. So of the girls, this is the prepositional phrase. So if you crossed out the prepositional phrase, which is of the girl, it will help you to get to the essence of the sentence which is one so one is or are one is so one of the girls is dancing I hope you understand what I'm talking about anyway if you didn't understand we'll talk about this later in the subject verb agreement question now I just want you to master how to figure out any prepositional phrases all right now it's time for the exercise pause the video try to answer them on your own and then come back with a voice the answers together For those who are standing because they don't know what a prepositional phrase is, you can have a seat right now. But for those who don't know what a noun is, you can keep standing till the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Assalamu alaikum.